Tacoma TRD Sport versus TRD Off-Road. Who wins? I'm Jeff Teague, and if you like my content, please hit subscribe right now. This is the 2024 Tacoma TRD Sport in bronze oxide. And this one right here, this is TRD Off-Road in solar octane. So today I'm your host, like Mr. Rourke from Fantasy Island. I'm gonna tell you what's great about Off-Road Sport, inside, outside, you'll get the whole skinny, including the price, so we can tell them apart because it's a natural comparison between these two. So here's how we're gonna tell them apart. Remember, from this point on, the TRD off-road is the orange one. We'll simplify things just like we're back in elementary school, right? Really cool looking. Now each of these vehicles is going to have an upgrade package. So I'm going to show you what is standard and then what is upgraded. That way you can know if you want one of these option packages. Look at this bronze oxide. From this point on, TRD Sport will be known as the bronze one. Each one has a really cool color that pops and shines in the sun. The one drawback, these ones just came off the truck, so they're not cleaned. We live life with a dirty truck, right? A lot of times, so we're gonna do that today too. Time to go inside the bronze one. Remember, that's the TRD Sport. Look, it has white accents. You could get blue accents, shiny blue. You can get titanium silver metallic, or you can get this white accent one. So I don't know how you're gonna decide, but we're gonna give it a first look before we go section by section. The interior will be near the back of the video. Let's go to the front. And then we're, we're coming, TRD Off-Road, we're coming. Look at this right here. All new styling, completely modernized interior. That's an upgrade, that's an upgrade. All right, this is the sport. And with TRD Off-Road, if you compare packages, because who doesn't do that, well, this one has fabric seats, normally. However, it has the Premium Plus upgrade, so it has a lot of features, technology, systems, multimedia upgrades that perhaps the TRD Sport over there won't have because that has the upgrade package, one step down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the window stickers next and then we're gonna go section by section starting with the outside, tell you some performance fast facts and see how this could possibly be different from that one over there. So get ready, buckle up. As T.O. says, get your popcorn ready. We got a lot to talk about. The TRD Sport 4x4 double cab, it's gonna start at 42.6. The off-road starts at 42.9. So it's within $300 of each other. However, this one, there's the fuel mileage, standard features. We'll show those in more detail later. However, this one has the TRD Sport upgrade package. So you get power seats, leather steering wheel, the JBL system with the JBL flex speaker, pre-wired auxiliary switches. You see that there, AC power, extra AC power, the integrated trailer brake controller and the power horizontal rear window. So remember, if you're looking for one of these vehicles, they're not gonna have standard power horizontal rear window. So this one here, TRD Off-Road, this one has a bigger upgrade package. Remember, we're comparing packages. Here we go. Go, 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 17 inch wheels here. The TRD Sport normally has 18 inch wheels. And then boom, 42,900. But this big, huge upgrade right here, the power seats, the 14 inch multimedia, that's pretty impressive. The JBL Flex, moonroof, pre-wired switches, power inverter, digital rear view mirror. So there's a lot of bling in this one here. The towing technology controller, the window. There's a lot going on, right? So that one would be here. These are both available at Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina. You can go to fredandersontoyota.com. Plane, woo, safe travels, boys and girls, woo. TRD Off-Road, TRD Sport. They're gonna be the same under the hood, meaning that they have the iForce engine. That's the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine matched with eight speed automatic transmission. Interesting, right? Maybe you want six speed manual. I got that or you can get this one right here, 278 horsepower, 317 pounds of torque. Now here's the wrinkle, the twist, the ba, ba, ha. This one can have the iForce Max, meaning you add a 48 horsepower electric motor to it and nickel metal hydride battery, parallel hybrid system. That gives you beefed up power and speed and quickness. 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque. Remember, this is iForce Max. These are both going to have four-wheel disc brakes. I like the soundproofing. I like the fact that the prop rod has two different settings based on height. I think that's from Caddyshack, right? Well, how do you measure yourself on other golfers? 
by height. Now look at this right here. I don't know why this one is this case, but this one does not have the soundproofing protector that the TRD Offroad does. Actually, I just noticed that. So that might be something that we wanna know. Is that standard all the time like that? Or does this have something different like that or what? TRD Sport has sport tuned suspension. TRD Offroad has Bilstein shocks. Look at the blue. How about let's check out TRD Sport suspension. Sport tuned suspension, this has independent double wishbone suspension in the front and then under here it'll have multi-link coil spring suspension so that's an improvement most of the trims except for the lower ones are going to have the coils now so that would be a huge difference in ride comfort big improvement right and then the trd off plane the trd off-road is going to go with the bilstein shocks here it's got more off-roading thing, features, systems, controls. I'll tell you about what those are. That's different from TRD Sport. Softens the impact on the trails. Nice ride off. Ooh, let's compare front ends. Both vehicles are gonna have an 18.2 gallon fuel tank. You'll see the fuel door on the driver's side. Most Toyotas do that. And then 19 in the city, 23 on the highway, 21 combined. I see a couple noticeable differences here. The TRD Sport has the hood scoop. Very aggressive. When I first saw this at the world premiere in Hawaii, it's tough. What a change from the previous 2023, right? And then this one here, it's still aggressive and muscular, but not quite so much as the first appearance of our friend TRD Sport. They both have Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. I see a multi-terrain monitor there, that's cool. LED headlights, daytime running lights. Got functional air that goes through there, that's cool. LED fog lights just pretend that we've been out mudding okay so that's why they're dirty I'm lucky I got to film them at all all right here we go skid plate that's interesting right LED fog lights I like that so now let's compare it to this one on TRD Sport boom boom same lights here same functional air this one has the air dam that's interesting very interesting. Now you can take that one off with nine bolts if you choose to do that. Still has the same grill design here. Shub, bam. Let's look at TRD Off-Road. Remember this one normally has the eight inch multimedia screen. It's been upgraded to 14 inch. This one has thick matte black over fenders. That's pretty cool. And then look at these wheels here. This is gonna be different from our friend TRD Sport. Let's see if we can get in here. 265 70 R17 TRD wheels. It's nice. I see the Predator step bars there, black badging, black handles, the multi-terrain monitors here, turn signal indicator, blind spot monitor. It's in there somewhere, I promise. It's there. All right, so back on out. And of course we have the TRD off-road badging right there. Got the graphics. You can lower that. It's got the hitch, the hookups, composite bed, and then we can do the same thing. Well, it does go up, I promise. Backup camera here, light there, backup sensors, camera, light. Nice, remember that's optional, the slide. We've got the bed lights. I believe that's 400 watts of power, it is. Got a little bucket right in there, a little side pocket. So you can put whatever you want to in there and I chose to put the mats right there. Now the TRD Sport does not have the upgraded Premium Plus package. So it's not gonna have any extra monitors on the side there, you won't see extra cameras. This is color keyed, this fender here. That's pretty neat. Different vibe, these are 18 inch wheels here. So let's take these right here, 265, 65R18 tires nice looking wheel design now this right here this is cool how do you like the trd boards here and these have color keyed handles with the gloss black so that might be considered different it's got turn signal indicators blind spot rear cross traffic alert now this one does not have the button where you open and close the tailgate and i promise on that trd off-road we can also raise it on the passenger side it's just not set for that. Okay, we've got, look here, not a light, but we've got the camera, so that's different. Nice. 
black chrome tip. I like that. And then this one right here has the nothing right there. It doesn't have any cameras. I see the spray on liner. That's nice. Oh, look at that. We've got plugins, USBs, 12 volt, extra storage pocket, spray on liner in the house. You like that. Remember the side mirror or the side window is not standard. 400 watts of power. I got the power. That's the power of love. The power of love. Here we go. So which back and side do you like better? Well, unclip these, unclip these. And could we raise this up? We can, and we've got extra storage underneath the floorboards for both vehicles all the way down. That's nice. What else is TRD Sport Interior dealing with here? Well, we've got bottle openings right here. No soft touch panels or pieces. The white accent, maybe you could put a phone there. Got the Seriously Rob handles, as Toyota's calling it from their commercial. I love that. Seriously Rob, here we go. Look, and you use this right here to button up if you want to keep it in place. So you raise it up, TRD Sport, raise it up. And then here, oh, look at that. We've got, get that into focus, USBs, 400 watts of power, and where you could put your cups. That's certainly nice. This one does not have the center that comes down here for like an armrest or cup holders. Doesn't have that. Let's look through right here. All right. This one has been upgraded with the upgrade package. So it's going to give you on TRD Sport power passenger seat with four-way lumbar support. It twists. It turns. That's nice. So we've got dark seats with some accent pieces. It looks like we're cooking across the grill right here. I like that. And then the white stitching. I don't think it's gray stitching. I think it's white stitching. So take a look here. This one does not have a standard moonroof. How about the glove box in TRD Sport? Now, if some of these like features are in both vehicles, I'm just going to skip over this one so I can show you more about TRD Off-Road so they each get equal treatment. I see USBs, wireless charger. See, it says TRD and we have the push button start in red. That was the case in previous years as well. So looking in here, got that. Drive modes, tow haul, two wheel, four wheel, high low. Uh-huh, electronic parking brake, brake hold. This is normally an eight inch screen. Now it's upgraded to 14 inch. TRD Sport driver's panel, JBL speaker upgrade. Ho, oh, that's nice. And the JBL Flex. We'll talk about that JBL Flex in the off-road. So we've got upgraded three wired switches here. So they're pre-wired. So that way you can add your accessories, lights maybe, anything you want to add to your car or truck, I should say, you can do that. So same thing here, four-way lumbar support. So we're looking around and we got to test out the horn. They're the same on both, but boom, boom, here we go. This is the 4.2 inch information display on this side here, but watch this. We can go over to the other panel. This is 12.3 inch fully digital, holla. Nice, so we can go back and forth and get lots of information on our display here. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, voice commands, we'll talk about that on TRD Off-Road. Look at this right here. Home link for garage door openers, auto dimming mirror, sunglass holder, this is the for the back window, just like that. See, it does it real quick. It does it quick. They got two microphones there too. We'll talk about that on off-road. Light and mirror with slider. Shall we see what our friend TRD Off-Road has to offer? Wait, we'll start with the back. Oh, it's back. Baby got back. My homeboys try to warn me. Yeah, we know the next line. All right, grab handle. Remember, these are normally fabric seats but we'll show the extra storage here. So now we've got the soft tech seats and look, it's got a pattern underneath it. Pretty cool stuff. And then under here, JBL speakers. If it didn't have JBL, you could have extra storage. So that's maybe a consideration, maybe not. Seat pocket. So a lot of these properties are gonna be very similar between the two vehicles. Absolutely. smurfly So, TRD Off-Road, should we go to the front? Here we go, we got bottle openings, titanium accent piece. I like the grippies on all of these Tacomas here. 
gives a little bit more texture, feels a little bit more rugged maybe, like you're ready to take it off-roading, or keep it on the road, whichever, I don't care. All right, it's got the USBs. Ooh, wireless charger, a hook here, so you can add accessories, tie them down right there, that kind of stuff, just kind of clasp them in. So, we see the upgraded seats, because it has not just the, see this doesn't have just something like a TRD Off-Road upgrade package, no. This one has the Premium Plus, so it's got a lot more features in it. Look, there's where my, I gotta remember that, my microphones are in there. So this is the trailer backup guide. That's one way where you can start adding a trailer. You can also do that on the digital gauge cluster right there. We've got the 360 view camera, which is very clear. Locking rear differential. This is the one that has the off-roading tools. So we gotta be aware of that because we want those if we're taking them off-roading. You don't have to use a crawl control or multi-terrain select and locking rear all the time, but wouldn't you rather have them and not need them than be in a bind? I see the pre-wired switches. I see you there. Yes, I do. So this is the JBL upgrade. The JBL Flex, you just take that, you can take it out. At the Forerunner World Premiere, I had, we, our group must have had like 10 speakers sitting out, all connected to the same Bluetooth plane. So it was nice because you had a little, little concert. It was like a whole bunch of Sonos systems or JBL systems. I know JBL wouldn't want me to say Sonos. Don't say that. Here's the back tailgate, goes down, goes up. This one does not have the aluminum sport pedals. That might be something you wanna look at there. Maybe you can add them. I don't know. All right, same horn, just like that. Yeah, that's cool. Boom. Okay, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. We'll use this one as an example. It's hard to use if I've got a door open, but we're gonna try it. Settings, testing, settings. So we can go through all of our information here. This might be interesting to show you here. Trailer settings, alerts, meter settings. That's where you can change the look. Go to either meter type or you can go to meter style and change the look of what you're going for there. So those are some things. Let's see, let's get that gone. Gone, <laughs> gone. Let's go over here. Gone, gone, gone. You've been gone so long. You've been gone, gone, gone so long. Huh. It's definitely landing day at RDU Airport. That's Raleigh Durham International Airport. Driving support, navigation, so you can see a compass there. Series 6M in the house. Drive info. Scroll over. How about our turbo gauge? See what that boost is like. I think if you're not familiar with this one, if you just say, I always want the 3.5 liter V6 like I've always had, test it out for yourself and see if there's a difference in drive dynamics because there is. But I know a lot of you don't have access to do it. You're watching the videos and I appreciate you doing that. But I want you to get in there. That's my encouragement to you is get into the dealer, test them out and see if you like the feel of it do you like the extra power, the extra boost, especially at the middle ranges? It's fast, a lot faster than it used to be. All right, so we've got this right here. You can go all the way through your profiles, set up information. You can point, click, zoom, all that stuff, pinch. So we've got digital rear view mirror upgraded there. Clear view outside, that's nice. Home link for garage doors and off-road is gonna have the same sunglass holder SOS button here, this back button, remember those are upgrades, and then the lighted mirror with slider. So is the moonroof, that's part of the premium package. So that's off-road, now the price. TRD Sport, four by four, nice. Bronze oxide, very cool. The safety ratings will be out soon, I'm sure. Here's the fuel mileage I was telling you about. Standard features, that doesn't change. If you get this configuration, this trim, it's gonna have these features no matter what. So the 18 inch wheels, look, it has two upgrade packages. So figure that out, compare it to the Premium Plus on the other one, maybe it tightens up a little bit here. So we got the 14 inch upgrade, and then TRD Sport has the JBL, the power seats, all that jazz. It's got some extra options on it here, the cast aluminum running boards, spray on bed liner, exhaust tip. So those are things you can either get or not get if you wanna pimp it out, customize it, make it your own. 
You could do that at the regional port. Could be what you want to do. All right, so this one's 51861. Remember, it's got a lot of options. And now our friend TRD Off-Road. Ho! Solar Octane. Here we go. Same fuel mileage. Remember, 18.2 gallon fuel tank here. These are standard features. What's really going to change? Actually, this is big. The off-road and tooth suspension with Bilstein shocks. So that could be something that makes a difference to you in comparing the two. Maybe you want 18-inch wheels, so you go with TRD Sport. Maybe you want 17. You'll stay here. So look at this right here. It normally has six speakers, eight-inch audio. You still get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with the Toyota Audio Multimedia. Here, this one's $8,800, so it's the Mac Daddy. And then we'll take this price, bring it here. This one has the Predator drop steps. Toyo Guard, some extra features there. So you can decide if you want them or don't want them. Let your dealer know and they'll... I guess do what dealers do. Here we go, 56305. This one's available at Fred Anderson Toyota. So go to fredandersontoyota.com and see all their inventory. It's a lot. Thanks for watching everybody. It's time to make your decision. Do you like the TRD Off-Road? Do you like the TRD Sport and why? Leave a comment. Would you rather go with a bronze oxide or a solar octane? Hmm, that's a tough one too, but they're both polarizing ones. You either love them, maybe you don't love them so much, maybe you hate them. Maybe you're like, yes, give them to me now. <laughs> all right, thanks guys so much. You're the best. I'm at Toyota Jeff Reviews. If you don't like the long view, you can see me on other platforms, shorter on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Yes. So Toyota Jeff Reviews, all four platforms. And then my second channel is Auto Jeff Reviews. We're approaching 20,000 followers, and I'd love it if you followed me there. Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. See you there. Again, thanks for being here at Toyota Jeff Reviews. If you want to see more Toyota content, I have well over 100 videos on just Toyota Tacoma. Click that Tacoma's playlist. You'll love what you see. Thanks guys so much. Actually two playlists. We've got Tacomas and 24 Tacomas. So either one of those, check them out. Hopefully it's what you're looking for.